Hello and welcome to Brawl News. I'm Karis Diamond, also known as the Brawl News Guy. Recently, Colt found a mysterious pumpkin that exploded and supposedly knocked Colt unconscious. After being in the hospital for several days, he finally woke up and has been rambling on about some nightmarish Brawl Stars world where all brawlers have become monstrous versions of themselves. Some of these nightmarish transformations include Lava Spike, Mummy Poco, Cursed Doll Jesse, and Franken Shelly. Hey, yeah, Jerry, can we not show that last one? It gives me the creeps. Ooh. Hmm? Yeah, what's that? Yeah, okay. Apparently, witnesses say they saw Colt ravenously eating the pumpkin remains before passing out. If you ask me, Colt was probably just hallucinating and not predicting a post-apocalyptic Brawl Stars world. Where was he? <laughs> Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Karas Time and it is time for your favorite show on the Brawler Net. That's right guys. Brawl News, the most reliable news source that sometimes gets it right 100% of the time. D don't think about that for too long. There are hints out on the Brawler Net of a possible Halloween themed update, including a new environment, a new brawler, and other Halloween themed features coming to Brawl Stars. We're gonna talk about what might be coming, okay? Now, as somebody who Supercell trusts to share official update information, I think it's very important that I add the disclaimer that what I'm talking about is not official news. So make sure you subscribe for future videos where I do have official news, but I have done a fair bit of research and got a really good idea of how Supercell does their updates. So while this isn't official, I really would not be surprised if I'm actually right. I've been right before. Yo Kairos, you've been wrong before too, man. Shut up, Noob Time. Yo, my name is not Noob Time. It's Carl Simon. Now, a while back, I did a video on Brawltopia, the map of Brawl Stars, where I talked about how various brawlers seem to be connected together in one way or another. And it all started with the discovery of the Retropolis sign. I'm not going to cover the entire video, but you can see this sign from a different angle in the Robo City theme, but flipped. This connection helps piece a lot of puzzle pieces together, a lot of mysteries for Brawl Stars that uh, basically all the various environments in Brawl Stars are actually connected and that the brawlers belong to specific environments. Now in that video, I specifically talked about future environments that would be added into the game and one of those is the graveyard that was shown in this official Brawl Stars video. Supercell has basically already hinted that this is going to come into the game eventually, so it's not hard to imagine that they would be adding this into, you know, a Brawl Stars Halloween update. There are old western brawlers that fit the dusty maps like Colt, Spike, and Shelly. There are also gang brawlers that fit the Retropolis like Crow, Bull, and BB. Not to mention mining brawlers that fit the gem mine like Carl and Dynamite. Now, we have Mortis and Frank who are spooky brawlers and it only makes sense that Supercell would eventually add a spooky environment into the game. But, I'm not just making this up, there's been a development that makes me think that this is happening this update. Not only is it perfect time right now with Halloween coming up, but in this post, somebody has somehow been able to see the edge of the map and what did they find? They found a spooky bat. And I double checked to make sure that this bat actually looks different than Mortis's bat and it is not from Mortis's super. So this, this is a different bat. It's almost like Supercell put this into the game as a hint for a spooky update and possibly as a hint for another spooky brawler. We'll get into that a little bit later on. Now remember, the Retropolis sign in the Robo City environment, this was in the game before the Retropolis update was released and Supercell put it in there as a hint to be discovered. It was always there. It was like, it was like Supercell was like, oh yeah, and in a couple months we'll do Retropolis. So we'll put that in later. I have no idea how the poster of this Reddit post found this. I couldn't figure out how to scroll that far over to see that bat. So there's a fair chance that this could be fake, but I absolutely would not put it past Supercell to put a bat in a random location on the maps like this to hint to a spooky theme being added into the game. Also, anyone can actually go onto trademarkia.com and look up any company's registered trademarks. If you look for Supercell's trademarks, you will see that they have Brawloween as a registered trademark. 
It looks like they filed this clear back in March, so there's no guarantee that this will happen. But if anything, they're prepared for it to be a possibility. Also, just to be a fair disclaimer, I, I believe that I remember actually looking back a year ago and seeing that they had registered for it last Halloween as well, but nothing came from that. I could be wrong. I don't know how I could possibly check for that, but it was still in beta testing back then, so they didn't. However, in all my years of playing Supercell games, there are two holiday themes that Supercell has put into their games in the past, Christmas and Halloween. So yeah, I would not be surprised at all if this happened. And the timing is just, it's not too far off either. Recently, Supercell has been dropping an update every one to 1.5 months for Brawl Stars. And the last update was released on September 17th, which was just about one month ago. I would not be surprised if we had an update a couple of days before Halloween. Specifically, I was putting a guess out there, specifically on the 28th of October. That's a Monday right before Halloween. Now then, let's talk about the new Brawler. I don't know if you've noticed like I have, but it seems like Supercell seems to be focusing on completing trios of similarly themed Brawlers. BB completed the trio of the Gang Brawlers with Crow and Bull. Tick completed the trio of the Pirate Brawlers with Penny and Daryl. Sandy completed the trio of the Mystic Egyptian Brawlers with Terra and Jean. And there's a very obvious duo that needs a third brawler to complete the trio. And that is the spooky duo of Mortis and Frank. If Supercell is releasing a new spooky environment, I would not be surprised if they released a spooky themed brawler like they released BB with the Retropolis update. Now, there are a lot of different kinds of spooky themed brawlers that they could release, but remember the big hint that's leading to all this? That's right guys, my best guess is a female type vampire brawler named Buffy. I wanted to give massive props to FreeFGP for coming up with this concept art for me. His social media link is in the description below and he does such a fantastic job with Brawl Stars fan art. Now, I would love it if Supercell added a vampire-like brawler like Buffy that could actually steal a little bit of health with her regular attack, unlike Mortis who only does it with his super. My guess is she would have a low amount of health and a medium range attack, and her super would actually share her healing with the rest of her teammates for a period of time, as well as boost her own healing for that period of time as well. I mean, technically, yeah, this is just a guess, but I also guess Leon, Rosa, and Sandy as well, so yeah. Buffy would absolutely fit the spooky theme that Frank and Mortis belong to, and I, I'm crossing my fingers, guys. Cross my fingers. Let's not forget about skins, guys. Just like Hot Rod Brock, Road Rage Carl, and Bake Sale Barley came with the Retropolis update, I, I just, I can almost guarantee you that we would see some spooky themed skins as well, okay? Mummy Terra, Ghost Leon, Pumpkin Spike, Werewolf Nita, all of these sound like they could be very plausible. Wait, what's that? Wait. Okay, sorry guys. It looks like Frank confirmed we're just getting seven more Brock skins. I really hope he's just joking. Speaking of skins, I'm sure we're going to get at least one Brawler remodel as well. When asked about Brawlers who still needed to be remodeled, Frank actually responded by saying that there are four Brawlers that still need to be remodeled, okay? There's Frank, Crow, Pam, and Daryl. Personally, I feel like Pan needs the most work, so I'm really hoping that she gets remodeled this update. And I also want a new skin. Obviously, she's one of four brawlers that doesn't have a skin, so she definitely deserves it, even if it's just a star point skin recolor or something like that. Please, Supercell, I, I'm begging you. I just, I want it badly. Okay, so we talked a lot about what is going to come in the next update, or at least what I'm theorizing is going to come in the next update. Now let's actually talk about some other Brawl news. First off guys, the first ever world championship is happening November 15th through 17th in Busan, South Korea. That's right guys, it's not bussin like I thought it was before. Spoke to my brother who speaks South Korean, I mean just Korean, it's Busan. Busan with a P. I don't know why they use a B. Apparently it's a soft P. This is very important guys, Brawl news. Players from around the world have been competing against each other in various regions and the champions are all going to be coming to face against each other with, for the ultimate bragging rights as the first ever world champions of Brawl Stars. People who are actually going to the event in Korea might have an opportunity to win some limited edition gifts including this Sakura Spike plushie, which I need, Sakura 
Spike, that's right. I said it in a very non-Japanese way. Sakura Spike! That's right. Oh, man. Honestly, though, I actually think that I'm going to end up going, so if you decide to go and you see me somewhere, you should absolutely flag me down and come and say hi. That would be super fun. Um, but even if you can't physically go, you're definitely going to want to watch this from home. I mean, you know, if you think I'm good at Brawl Stars, just wait till you see these players. They're insane and they kind of make me look like a five-year-old just mashing buttons in Street Fighter. Also in the news, you've probably heard that Supercell has expanded their Creator Boost program from just a few beta testers to several other content creators. Some creators who previously did not have a code that now do include Wonderbrad, Coach Corey, Ray, and several other content creators as well. Now, and then of course, there are content creators like myself, Lex, and OJ that had creator codes, now still also have them as well. So, but you know, the options for those that you can support have been expanded. This is a really nice way for you to support the creators that you love when you have, whenever you spend gems in Brawl Stars. If you're a creator and you're interested in the creator code, I can't give any information on that now, but maybe in the future, my hope, I'm trying to egg Supercell. I'm like, come on, let's, let's spread the love a little bit. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Brawl News. Make sure you subscribe and I will be giving you guys official news as soon as Supercell lets me. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.